Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Don Joe number 9102-619-RC. This is a two and a quarter inch poly bagged extended lip strike plate with quarter inch round corner and a dull nickel plate finish. Let's dissect the part number. 9102 refers to the dimensional properties, but let's knock off the odd thing. Poly bag, that means when you order it, it's going to come in a bag like this. By the way, screws are included in a complementary finish. 9102 is also a reference to the size of the strike. It's two and a quarter tall, as you can see. Now the overall width of this, about two and a half inch, but how this is classified is as a two inch strike because that's the dimension from the edge, pardon me, from the center line of the screw hole to the edge of the lip. That's how extended lip strikes are classified. 619 is a reference to the finish satin nickel. RC, that's obvious, radius corners here and here. Now where are you going to use this? Well, this strike is going to be used where you have a condition of the frame or the door that the latch makes premature contact with the wall, the casing, the jam. Uh, two common scenarios that cause that is when, and most commonly, when you just simply have unusually thick casing on the pull side of the door. You could, you know, standard casing is half inch. Well, imagine if your casing for some, uh, some reason was inch and a quarter. You would certainly need an extended lip strike. And indeed, this is about three quarter inch longer than the standard common strike, which are inch and a quarter lip length. This is two inch lip length. The two and a quarter tall, incredibly common for wood frames, uh, along with the fact that it's radius corner. That tells me it's a wood frame. Where Backing up, the other reason where you might encounter this is not only thick casing, but imagine if your door was inset deeper into the frame than standard. It's not common, but it does happen. The inset of a door, when you're standing on the pull side, that door is not flush with the frame, even though sometimes it is like in an aluminum storefront. But in residential wood doors, wood frames, it's inset a little bit, generally about 3 30 seconds of an inch. Imagine if that dimension was 3 quarter inch for some reason. You would certainly need an extended lip strike in that case. And the more often thing is an exterior door that has an unusual brick mold casing, interior door with casing. You might have shutters so close to the edge of the door that they make premature contact. The latch bolt does. Now, <clears throat> what's the tip off of the wood frame is not only the two and a quarter height, but these quarter inch radius corners. That's a result of the <clears throat> wood frame and door manufacturer simply taking the router and routing out the preparation and not going back and squaring the corners for the strike prep. Quarter inch radius, that's a half inch diameter router bit that was used. So that's very common. Why you would want to order this? Well, because you don't know the difference and it matches existing and that's what you order because that's what you have. Or you might know the difference and you don't want to chisel out the corners because you don't want to chisel out the corners to make a square corner strike. So radius corner are common for that sort of um, instance where you already have a radius preparation or you're going to build one and you just want a radius strike because you don't want to square the corners or you want to match the balance. And by the way, if you're thinking about extended lip strikes, you might need to think about um, wide throw hinges as well, which we can help you with. There is a link below this video to a document called Template, which shows all of the dimensional properties of the item beyond what we've already gone over. It also indicates the other finishes available. 605 is a polished brass, solid brass base material. 609, uh, antique brass with, uh, with a brass base material. 619, which is this, satin nickel. 620 is at antique nickel. 630, stainless steel. And then the DU finish, which is a dark bronze sort of powder coat over stainless, which is intended to emulate a oil rub type finish, oil rub bronze finish. There's also a link below this video to a document called Product Catalog, and that's handy because it will allow you to review this strike and all of Don Joe's sister products as it pertains to uh, not only extended lip strikes, but standard strikes and other specialty strikes. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up the full Don Joe catalog and review all things trim and auxiliary hardware related from Don Joe. What they're most known for is going to be their latch protectors, and their door reinforcing wraparound plates. But as you can see, they have many other items, not only strike plates, 
ladder poles, hinges, filler plates, door stops, holders, bumpers, poles, push and pull hardware, pivots, protection plates, door edges, and things of that nature. If you have any questions on the Donjo number 9102-619-RC, radius corner satin nickel full lip, 2 inch extended lip strike, or any other Donjo product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.